So I found something new and weird on eBay. Morago Ford Mustang Indy, it's called. Model kit. Metal model kit. Um, yeah. Um, I have no idea what this is. I was been watching it for a long time and then finally the guy came down a little bit in his price so I bought it this is McLaren there so, let's see what we have here mm, pretty good instruction sheet um, pre-owned I don't know if it was ever together but it's all wrapped up the box is pretty nice I never seen nothing like it. Here's all the parts, the body. <clears throat> Not necessarily my favorite kind of color. Looks like it's, I don't know, like a bronzish color. Okay, the windows are already in. Like I said, I don't know if this was put together or not, because everything is bagged. It kind of looks like newer bags. Here's your lights and other stuff. Hood scoop. I know that's not a hood scoop, that's a roof scoop couple antennas a couple screws in there I don't know what they are the body's molded in um, silver uh, I see a shift boot there the top of the engine and underneath not a lot of detail there um, uh, this does look to be a four cylinder turbo from back in the days I think uh, paint up that radiator a little bit and uh, I'll do some detailing on the interior. And also on the package, um, that roof scoop is red. I don't think I'm going to do that. Here's the decal sheet. Here's the decal sheet. Um, decal sheet looks decent. Hopefully these are still usable. So here it is, finished and put together. It's a very weird looking car. Very cool. I never really seen anything like it before. I did do a little detailing on it, not much though. Um, I chromed the exhaust tip, uh, put the white into the backup lights. Uh, hatch open, oops. Hatch open, hatch opens. I did do a little um, detailing in the interior. I uh, put a black wash in all the creases. Um, here you can see I chromed the key for the trunk, the door handles, and the um, door locks. Um, this front uh, has these little latches, almost. I put it on, but well, the holes were there, so I put them on. 
but uh, the hood doesn't open very well. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, you yeah, can see it's a um, four cylinder turbo. Pretty nifty. Decently detailed. Uh, I did do a little chroming and blacking in of certain parts. Um, door panels are just like oversprayed almost. You can see how bad they actually did paint it. Oh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice with that hood scoop and the antennas and all that. It's pretty cool. Um, one problem, which if you ever built older model kits that you'll find is old decals are deteriorate pretty bad. Um, there was Firestone decals that went over the wheels, wheel arches, and they, I just couldn't, they wouldn't come off the paper, right? They kept on splitting and, um, couple other ones I had some issues with uh, luckily this front one had some issues with you can see there but that's okay yeah it's pretty nifty though um, the underneath it's just a uh, just a um, This has some indents for some of the stuff. Uh, that I, I did chrome that tip there. And you can see I had a little issue with this one. I got them pretty good, but uh, put some decal sealer on, and hopefully they stay on pretty good. Couldn't find a date on the car. Um, I would assume it's early 80s because it looks like an 81 uh, Mustang 79 81 80 81 um, looks a lot like a pace car um, here's another one um, pretty close to the same body style except for it's four-wheel drive uh, I did some work on this um, I bought it last year at a um, car show in McCunji, Pennsylvania. Uh, originally, it was sold as um, the TV show Chips, and like a set with motorcycles and a helicopter and all that. But uh, this thing was beat to hell when I got it. As you can see, um, a lot of the paint is all messed up. I tried to strip it off, but it just wanted to come off. And it was taking too much time, so I just said, ah, screw it, put it back together. Um, does have a place for a uh, police light. Um, I haven't sourced one yet. Uh, it was originally gloss black. I painted it flat black and uh, did the hood a little bit. And um, I just I saw it and I thought it was pretty nifty. I did the door handles in chrome. Uh, underneath is this bear. Um, it, this is actually a um, Buddy L toy made in Japan. Uh, once again, this is early, probably early 80s. Um, I painted the taillights. I, I took it all apart and, um, and I, I painted the interior, which is kind of hard to see through the yellowing glass. Um, it didn't turn out too bad. I'm gonna stick it on a shelf somewhere. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications for when.